No. Mm. However, mm. you managed to succeed. Nice, nice. Okay, so, is it like 30 or 40 the, damage, I think? As, as, <laughs> as the trapped spell. Mm -hmm. And this is another interesting thing, that this was trapped, so... Yes, ma yes. Magically trapped. Uh, yes, as, what happens first. Yeah, mm -hmm. as the ga like a cylinder of flame, there's suddenly like a large... <laughs> burst of flame, and everything like... You probably were mm -hmm. like, here when you were like checking stuff. Uh, flame erupts, and like this sound of fire uh, can be heard by the other party members. So you take... Mm -hmm. Half of that. Eight damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, to be fair, this is a shit roll. It is. It's very shit. Uh, let me see. Eight d six. Three. What would be the average? So. Uh, do you have a uh, knowledge, arcana, or spellcraft? Oh uh, yes. Give me a second. Uh, you can also roll that to basically have that moment of... Sure, that's just me rolling something, ignore that. Uh, roll that knowledge, knowledge Arcana, as I see the spell go off, as Sixus like, pokes one of the crates with his sword. Uh-huh, uh, Knowledge Arcana. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, obviously this is one of the fire spells, obviously from mm -hmm. the effect, however you are not exactly sure which one was it. Uh huh. Hopefully All right. not not a fireball because then most of the ship would stop existing. But mm -hmm. yes. either way, you all hear Sixus shout in pain as a gout of flame explodes from the hole, and he comes tumbling out, uh, as, uh, rolling into uh, the water. As the Chirk immediately runs over to help. Mm -hmm. Ow! 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 Yeah, right. What happened? Stupid, stupid crate and blew up. And <laughs> mm -hmm. hey. uh, let's see. And what else going on here? Yeah, as you like peek inside, sure, you like take a glance towards the interior of this like wrecked ship. You see that yeah, one of the crates has like burst open with fire, while the there are other like scorch marks, however, not all the... There are still supply, some supplies that managed to survive this uh, trap. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did any of us have any uh, potion, uh, kill like wounds potions left? I think I gave mine to uh, Zach's character last week, so I don't have mine. Hmm. Well, I have none, mm -hmm. since I ch ch chugged the one, only one I've ever had. Uh-huh. Uh, all I have is an all-tools vest, so I don't think... <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a robot, you can't fix me up with fucking wrench. Uh... But it can uh, produce, uh, like, bandages or, uh, salves. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Six has got blown up. Rip Six has. He has now at 5 oh, HP. Dude. Wait, what What happens? Uh huh, fucking you giant. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what did you say, Zillo? Mm -hmm. I said he almost died. Yep. Uh huh. Only his good reflexes saved him from death. Uh -hmm. He managed to trigger some form of trap. Mm hmm. All right. If you want to take a closer picture, you can make a. Actually, nah. No, if you will like take a few minutes, then you can definitely confirm that it was not a mechanical trap. It was uh, mm -hmm. most likely alchemical uh, equipment that got volatile. No, we put a spell. Spell. I know this. Um... <laughs> Mm. Also, as before you heard that, as you like were hearing this gout of flame, both Cheruk and Koran realized that this large chest here was also trapped. 
However, this was okay. like me mechanical trap. So okay. it was like easier to spot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh dear. Well, it looks like... We should, we should get going after those tracks. Right. That's our uh, priority. Sixes, six, are you good or do you need to return to camp? Sixes kicks kicks the water. I'm I'm always fine. Master would go on no matter his difficulties and um, pain and suffering and horrors. Of course I will. Let's go. Mm, stupid water. Sixes, you mm. are not your master. As your friend, I am uh, imploring you to return to camp. No, we go forward. Glory to be had, no matter how small hands may grasp it. Mm. If, we, if we get into a fight, stand and get behind me. Uh huh. Mm. All right. Well, as I mm. mentioned, mm. some crates. Curse the stubborn. Sorry. Go ahead. Curse the stubbornness of small creatures. Am I a rabbit? <laughs> I did mention that some crate supplies managed to survive, and they do not seem to have like any more. Yeah, but so the first. If you, if you want the to problem is the first trap looks like they didn't have any traps either. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's fair. Your your call. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to say that well, no. it, it was an option to like potentially look maybe emergency supplies of some kind and some potion managed to basically mm -hmm. survive in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Does anyone here know detect magic? Uh. Uh, like, no. Nah. Actually, I should have a bit more HP. Most are uh, spellcasters, so... Well, also, legitimate uh, spellcasters. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Also, uh, Matt, could you do a quick thing? If you go on the settings... On my token and go to advanced settings. You can link my tokens HP to my character sheet's HP. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been having to do that manually. Yeah. yeah I had a bit more HP because of that. Where is it? Uh, advanced settings, and then there's their character. I think there's like token represent character sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's already. Controlled by, determined by character seconds and represents character it. Yes. And then on bar one, uh, there's like an extra uh, box uh, through all the way to the right. Yeah. And right, click on the uh, click right HP and press enter. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I don't see what do you... Uh, give me 10 seconds, but like you see the HP or the, the bar one, which has like two bars, like current uh, HP, maximum HP, and there should be a third bar after that one. Mm -hmm. So it's like bar one, one place to put... No, no, uh, bar one, yeah, HP, max HP, and then to the right of that there should be one more. Select uh -huh. a character sheet attribute to link to bar one. Yes, click on that one. Mm -hmm. And now and I have right like HP. a very fucking large list. Yes, write HP while after you, just after you clicked it. Uh, HP ability? Yeah. Because there's HP ability, HP ability mod, HP misc. There should be a, just a big, big HP, but take the first one, I suppose. Uh -huh. Well, not mm. sure. That did it. Mm -hmm. Con ma con n minus n. No, that's not the one. Uh, give me a second. I remember it being like just a big HP, or is there a small HP? Uh huh. Just H and P. Uh, let me just quickly. I know I have a Pathfinder game somewhere. The reason I want to fix this is because that means if you use these tokens, whatever you want, they always have like our character sheet HP. So give me a second. I mean, you don't you have an ability to like uh, edit those tokens? Yes, but it's easier to remember for us if you just it's just no, automatic. No, but like edit them in a way that you can set this automatic thing. No, it has the GM has yeah. to set it. No, Otherwise, I would have done it already. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Uh. 
-hmm. because maybe this is like something maybe i don't not something and i do not understand something because i'm not because i'm looking at where i think i should be looking and i just don't see like just hp thing uh-huh try writing health i don't like i'm okay there we go i found a pathfinder game from way back when so give me a second I do apologize for inconvenience, but it is very convenient once we get it working. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Click on that one. Uh, HP in big letters. Uh -huh. Just Hmm. Yeah, but that's the thing. I do not have like all HP. I mm -hmm. have HP ability, HP ability mod, HP misc. Mm -hmm. Unless, can you make if... a, like a screenshot and post it on Discord? So can you s show me where this should be? Maybe I'm looking at a sure. place. I don't think you are, but give me a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can post it on like Discord channel. There we go. Take a picture and then in Eternal Wanderers. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at a good place and I don't see it. Mhm. Mm in which case, let me check. Let me check real quick to make sure that I have everything correctly set up. I think I do. Yes, I have HP here. In which case, if we can't figure it out, we can figure it out some other time. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it is very convenient if you can make uh, it work. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm checking out uh, Zillow. Also don't see it. Mm -hmm. And sorry, now I obviously... It f I me messed up on Zillow's shit HP, so... I know, I know what my HP is, so don't worry about that. Same here. Uh -huh. Mm hmm yeah, so I'm looking at a good place and it's not there. Yep, in which case something is terribly wrong and I apologize uh, for wasting your time. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's because the game is so old. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. It's possible, but I think he just added a new character sheet, so... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the mm -hmm. character sheets are new, so they should be... Mm -hmm. But yeah, and can't I find it. No uh... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to double so, check. Uh, does, yeah, go ahead. Does anyone have any experience in uh, disabling devices? No. <laughs> no. I don't believe I do, but let me double check. Right. Uh, that case, uh... No. Mm -hmm. Right. Good, good base for does dexterity. Anybody but have, no uh, does anybody have any string? Yeah. Uh, no. Mm. No. All right. In that case, uh, Jerk is going to use only one of the oars instead of uh, the two oars strung together, and he's going to try to uh, poke the trap on the. Uh, uh, the chest as well to kind of uh, trigger it from a safe distance. Okay. Uh, and this is important. When you are doing this, I need to be sure where your token is. Ooh, uh, so be, be mindful where you put your token. Here. Okay. I, I assume you are able to do it so that you have reach for the trap. Yes. Yes, I just yeeted at the uh, chest. <laughs> Yeet! So I'm guessing that's a ranged attack. Uh, sure, but I think it's like AC 10 or something like that. I mean, we have a bunch of planks. He's just going to keep doing it until he hits it. So yeah, I think you just, just take got a, to that. Take a 10 or take a 20 anyways. Yeah, take a 20. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> so... Uh, yeah, you do put it, uh, you strike it, the mechanism is <laughs> and suddenly like the chest opens and there is this uh, like the hidden compartment and unleashes uh, basically like a <laughs> dust 
And this is like not usual dust. Uh, it seems essentially you can pretty much if this was a trap then it probably has some uh, a measure like this is some sort of uh, poison. Back up. And yeah, it was essentially uh, 10 feet... Uh, uh -huh. 10 feet uh, radius, so I can probably reveal the... Okay. And now I can, as the trap has been deactivated. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Is open. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so uh, two things. One, if you want to like know for sure, like I try to identify what this uh, was, you can make a uh, check. Basically, th this was like a this dust is kind of a poison, so not yeah. sure what kind of skill check would that fall under. Probably another spell. So let's roll another arcane check. Or oh, actually, it's probably spellcraft. Actually, this roll that. was mm -hmm. not a spell. No dear. Um, uh, if it was from a plant, maybe knowledge nature. If it was, if it's commonly used, uh, a, a by assassins, maybe profession assassin. <laughs> profession no, assassin is assassin, very not really. Oh, when, when, when it be, when it could it be or possibly be a craft alchemy check? Uh, I mean, check. that would make Considered. sense. That could that could that could also work. I was about to say, it's like, uh, I, my character knows poisons. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything related to like, poisons and like, yeah, craft alchemy. All right, I'm going to say, we're going to keep that role for Arcana Zixos, because that will be important for the second thing I'm going to say in just a moment. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Zillo, as the proficionado, uh, an aficionado of poisons, uh, you figure out that this is Ungol dust. Ungol. Potentially irritating if inhaled. Uh, and it basically... Uh, okay, I'm gonna say this mechanically. Uh, essentially, this is uh, this provides like a damage to charisma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is... This, like... You can only like save because if you are like in a range, then this poison like never misses because this is like a cloud of dust. So yeah, but you are out of range. Kind of ruins your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. like that. And Zixos with we realized that yeah, it, this wasn't a magical thing. However, as you like your sharpened senses, uh, like. Look at this, mm -hmm. uh, you realize something else has, like, begins to trigger, not a trap, however, the resi residual effect of fire magic that was unleashed probably still lingered around here. And now, the dust that got sprayed over, uh, you begin to notice that there's some sort of weird uh, magical reaction uh, going on. And wind picks up, and you begin to see the very first uh, kind of coming from the ground up, uh, like a small swirling cloud of burning uh, ash. I think now is the time to leave. Let's get out of here as, as the freaking dust storm starts showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, uh, maybe... Hmm, it will be up to you to decide if you had any like, large uh, experience with undead. Uh, however, mm -hmm. in that moment of clarity and like seeing through your... like knowing about various arcana phenomena, uh, this begins <laughs> to look like... Uh, uh, Cinder Ghoul is beginning to manifest from the ground. <clears throat> A Cinder Ghoul. Not what I wa want to fight right now. <laughs> okay, so I believe you are making your retreat. Yeah, a yeah, a hasty retreat and. 
uh, following where the tracks lead. Hmm. All right. So as we are leaving, as you take a glance back, you do manage to see that uh, essentially what appears. I'm gonna like, yeah, gather up your tokens because. I assume that, yes, the rest of the party also leaves, or...? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sometimes I, I just started moving your tokens and I realized... Wait, I should probably ask you if you actually, like, want to retreat along the, alongside the rest or not. I think we skidoosh. We've had enough of this cursed ass ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... As you, like, skidooshing, like, you probably take a glance and you begin to see that... Yes, the swirl swirl starts like turning. This is like a swirling humanoid cloud of burning ash and charred body parts. Ah, uh, once again, we are unleashing horrors upon the world. Looks like eternal wonders are back in business. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Yeah, essentially, trigger. For... Hold it. Oh, that appearing was like to trigger both uh, traps. Sure. Uh, well, that's a uh, that's problem for our future characters. <laughs> yeah, essentially, it only begins to like, look in your direction with us, like, where sh the eyes should be. There's like a red glow of uh, burning embers. However, by that point in time, you just <laughs> push, skadoosh into the uh, forest and begin to follow tracks, which means... Actually, before you roll, I need to, like, Kind of look at there was to figure out what the DC would be for that. And also, when you're following tracks, I believe some kind of knowledge check you would be also allowed some kind of knowledge check to maybe see if you can figure out what type of creature. Uh, you are if following? it's a undead, if it's an if it's undead, it's probably a religion check. It's actually not undead. Oh, oh dear! Probably a planar if it's an interplanar creature. Not uh, sure what else it could be. Yet. Arcana, perhaps. It's a p h humanoid, like smaller. Oh, so. local then. Um, Goblinoid. A local. Oh, yeah, yeah, local. Hey, hey, I'm sexist, <laughs> you know, I have a name. Uh, um... Yeah, can we just return my plate of food downstairs for a back? Okay. <sighs> okay, uh, you are able to figure out that the... Well, some of you managed to figure out that uh, mm -hmm. the creatures we are following are, in fact, goblins. A pack of, uh, kind of like a hunting group of goblins, uh, accompanied by uh, another, like tracks that you recognize. They, at first, you thought this was like a normal wolf, but you guess that uh, it might, it probably is like a larger type, so like a dire wolf. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let me. Uh, Check to see if there are any become difficult to follow. Then write this. Okay, firm ground, hard ground, condition. Okay, so the creatures are small for the most part. They are kinda also that. Okay, uh, okay, so the DC will not be. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, the DC for that will be uh, 12. For survival to track the uh, goblin party, hopefully back towards where they where they are. So survival 
Can I take a 10? Uh, hold on. I don't believe so because there's also a case of you following into like yeah. more possibly treacherous and maybe dangerous uh, land. And apart from right. tracking the goblin party, you also like also make sure that you do not basically find, uh, basically step right. into like dangerous thing. You're a goblin. I need you to check out for goblin traps. Essentially, uh, Chirik is asking you for a plus two uh, modifier. Um. Suxus looks a bit embarrassed for a little while as he scratches his head. Ah, uh, I grew up in a city. I don't know many goblin traps, but I'll do my best. <laughs> in that case, it is a survival check of, let's see, 14 plus uh, 1 because I'm traversing with a machete and plus 2. Uh, for my ranger bonus, of my favorite landscape. Yeah. So that would be a 17. Alright, as I said, the DC for that was 12, so... Yeah, you are able to keep on track. And it's probably... Is it because they do not, the, whoever you were tracking, they do not seem to like try to cover their tracks? It's just the natural difficulty of the uh, terrain and the size of the creature, the uh, size of the creatures, because for the most part, yeah, goblinoids are small fuckers. Okay. And as you begin approach something that from the outside uh, you begin to approach something that looks like an entrance and there are no visible signs of living on the outside at the first glance however you know what you're looking for and probably after a minute or so uh, you do spot like a leftovers of a meal or maybe like a bone being thrown nearby which implies there is like a signs of uh, living and I probably should mention that getting to here, probably first getting into uh, to that boat, then uh, following uh, tracks, uh, all of that took like let's say we have started at the camp and it was like still before noon. So I'm now going to say that this is like a definitely uh, past noon, like afternoon. Sure. The sun is still, the, the, there's still day, however. Yeah, it, it, it took you like several hours uh, to get to that point. <laughs> okay. And while there are no uh, like sentries on the uh, outside, you probably guess that when you enter, you might be coming into contact uh, soon. So the question is, do you just like enter uh, loud, ready to kill any enemy on your way, or do you like try to so somebody tries to scout stealthily uh, first? Luxus uh, is I still rather angry about this whole explosive traps. So unless anyone stops him, he marches in, blade, I... you know, ready. Oren is going yeah. to place his hand on Zeiss' shoulder. Uh -huh. yeah, and slightly lift oh. him off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he marches steadily <laughs> forward. Eventually he will reach the goblin cave. Eventually. Mm. Alright, uh, in the uh, in that case, uh I have a stealth of ten, so uh Go and scout ahead. Right. What once you get an idea of what you've seen come back to us? Yeah. Right, so, uh. Churik is going to utilize his, uh, old hunting abilities on uh, stalking his prey. 
and uh, basically kind of uh, uh, disappear into uh -huh. the uh, wilds as a ooh, that's a low one uh, 16 to hide uh, from any goblins and right. basically scout the numbers so we'll get to that uh, do you have dark vision? a low light vision okay give me a moment because I always have trouble figuring out how to set that on a token Okay, uh, essentially because gob you do know that goblins have dark vision, uh, as you are entering the cave, you realize that you do not see at first any, uh, any sources of light. So kind of the low light vision doesn't uh, qualify because there's yeah. no light source. Because goblins do have dark vision. Yeah, uh, that is a pain. I, uh -huh. Do you, I you get, not have dark vision? No, I am the only one in, not in the dark vision club. Oh, pathetic. <laughs> I have oh, bird fuck, eyes. You know. I have bird eyes, not pig eyes. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, one, I only have low light. I don't have dark vision. Oh. <laughs> The feels when the guy in fucking full play would be better off sneaking at it. <laughs> well, I mean, I could them. sneak in with six as he's annoyed. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. six. Yeah. <laughs> oh. In that case, I'm not sure how far in I want to uh, sneak. If it uh, oh. turns out to be too dark to navigate, uh, Turk is going to back off. Yeah, it's probably best just to head back. I will give you one thing. Uh, I'm not going to show them up yet because obviously the vision thing. Uh, however, kind of kind of trusting your instincts, you can get into a little bit, like you know, keeping to the wall, and knowing that you are still in that entry corridor, and when you are at the point when you know that you cannot go further in because you are risking, you know, getting lost okay. without vision and uh, alerting uh, enemies, you can make me a perception check. However, this will be like mostly uh, sound based to see if you can hear uh, anything. And out of curiosity. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> so. Okay. So actually, your stealth roll was not bad. Uh, okay. Well, it was bad. It's uh, just theirs was worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. But, but... So from the sounds, you do hear uh, goblin speak. I'm gonna say with like 18, you can definitely say that uh, you do not know because obviously you do not see the uh, type of the room in front of you. But considering how it echoes, this is some sort of like a natural cavern. It doesn't seem like it's very large, but uh, you can definitely hear at least uh, two voices uh, speaking in uh, Goblin. Can I make out what? Uh, can I make out what they're saying? Do you speak Goblin? Yes. I put a rank into... I had an extra book about the orc and goblin speak. Which means I... Uh, which uh, out of character means I put an extra point in linguistics. Alright. Mm -hmm. Because Tengu can get two languages for the price of one. Uh, so... Apart from like, like you know, usual chit chat or just two, two not too very bright goblins uh, talking about their everyday life, uh, one passage actually piques your interest, 
uh, which says, <clears throat> So you think that Troll will be happy? He better will be. Those were pretty meaty uh, humies. Hmm. Uh, what was the word he said? Uh, does the does who think they're good? <coughs> mm. So uh, essentially, he mentioned troll first. That if if the troll will be happy, and the other one said that yeah, he should be, because those humies were pretty meaty. Like they had a lot of Ooh. meat. Oh, that's not good. And then, and there's probably also one more thing. Yeah. As long as he stays in his, like, back of the cave, you know, protecting that I don't know, like, the deal will be on, but that's on the chief. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, this wedge duty sucks. Alright, at this point... Oh, uh... sorry, one more thing. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, Simon, sorry. I'm just like figuring out that actually this might also be relevant. <coughs> sorry, because doing their voice kind of fucks my throat up. <coughs> hey, you don't have to do their voice if you. <coughs> Instead of doing like super exaggerated, try just doing slightly lower voice, and I think that'll be fine. <coughs> mm -hmm. Like it's it's more important that your voice is fine than the accent <coughs> is is great. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. th they also say. Yeah, it's boring, but you know, uh, we are mm -hmm. we are the pa pats. What's what's the word? Patsies, you dofus patsies. We have them, our brothers up here. If somebody tries to shank us, they get riddled with arrows. And then you don't see them, but you imagine they look like the other is looking around. <laughs> you idiot! Why will someone hear us? Hear us, there's no one around. And then they right, basically continue into bickering. And that's all the rel relevant information for Cheruk. Right, can I see some form of uh, platforms or uh, high no, ground? Sadly, no. As I said, like this was only like uh, sound-based information. Because there's like no... Right, no right. Lo there's no low... There is no light source inside because all of them are like dark vision. Right. In that case, uh, Chirik is going to uh, swiftly return to the rest of the group and relay what he uh, heard. Doesn't think that the, the humans are uh, dead yet, but they are going to be fed to a troll. In which case, before no. In which case, we best not delay. Agreed. They also said and, uh, said that uh, that uh, they might uh, uh, that the two guards outside might be uh, uh, protected by a more goblin with arrows, a uh, goblin bowman from a higher uh, position. In which case, Chirik, we're going to rely on you to deal with those archers. Alright. The rest of us will have to... Oh. The rest of us will have to get close to them. <coughs> I get... So, uh... Yes, Chirik is basically going to take shots in the dark. They also, yeah, that... men um, they also mentioned a goblin cheap. So, uh, I'm, I'm not sure taking shots in the dark when they have dark vision is the best of ideas. Mm. I oh, do have, but I do have torches, so... Well, they're, gonna know, they're gonna know we're coming anyway. Yeah, but... Well, we should probably use torches then. Once we're inside, light the torches. Agreed. <coughs> okay, so 
just so I know that I can use, I can set the vision dynamic lighting properly. So, Coron, do you have dark vision? Yep. All right. Uh, Sixty feet. Yep. All right. Uh, Zixos. All mm -hmm. right. You, because you are a goblin, you also have dark vision. Sixty. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna just set uh, light sources on uh, Zilols and uh, Cherux tokens for simplicity's sake. Uh, and I think the torch emits uh, 15 feet bright light and 30 low light. Uh, yeah, sure. So I'm just gonna set it right now like that. Oh wait, uh, I just remembered. I have uh, uh, what is stance of piercing rays that gives a uh, plus one d six fire damage to any. Presumably, that would light your your arrows on fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, even though that fiery arrow would give some sort of uh, glow, it's only like temporary medicine as it sails through the air. Anyways, I'm gonna set the bright light on Sheryuk. Uh, okay, um, essentially if I imagine this, you are essentially doing breach and clear. You are like rushing in. As you, when you know that you are getting close, that you they might hear you just be, begin to like rush in so that you can, uh, you know, get them. Mm -hmm. Surprise. So who wants to be, or rather, when I said your tokens, like who wants to like be first, right? Who is on the front? Uh, Corn. Probably Miss Corn is. Our boy yeah. in armor. Yeah. All right. He's he's the one they're gonna hear and hopefully have their attention drawn towards. All right. Uh, and I'm guessing, like Zilol, Zixos, and Cherka might be like following in. Uh, yeah, I figured I'd, my character would be behind the front. All right, and did I? Oh, obviously I did not set dynamic lightning on this. Shame. All right, then I believe I can put you on the map, <coughs> and uh, we can make uh, initiative rolls. <laughs> Not twenty boys. Oh, nice. Jesus well, Christ. Honestly, this kind of plays nice with like the fact that you are like rushing in. Mm, it's <laughs> on slightly. It certainly feels. <laughs> we'll, we'll say it was armor. Weight him down. I mean, I think it's Suxus and Zillow both just charging like dumbasses. Um... <laughs> uh, level 4, is it? Level 4 forwarder? Well, I get my... There's something where I, I finally get to add a bonus to my initiative. <laughs> one one uh, day. It's, yeah, it's level 4. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I get to add my intelligence to um, initiative. Oh, and reflex as well. Like that. Wait, it didn't save. Fuck no. <laughs> All right. Uh, is the vision set properly? Do you like see anything? Uh, yep. yeah, 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 can see clearly on my end. Mm -hmm. All right. See like so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you begin to like rush in through the uh, corridor and you begin now to see how the interior of this cave looks like, uh, the two goblins obviously hear the sound of like armor, <laughs> like footsteps uh, rushing in. Like, like, what? 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 Shit! And the <laughs> turn. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, uh, Sixes. This is your moment. Strike fear in their hearts. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean. All right. Sixes charges in into the darkness for glory, for honor. Ah! 
he screams as he swings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and the goblin yes. you're attacking also screams like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's just a bunch That's of screaming. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I don't after, think this will matter. Yeah, so you're oh, charging God. in. Uh, you see that there is a. Uh, 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 fucking hell, I forgot the word. Uh, ladder. ladder. Ladder, uh, and basically mm -hmm. this and this is like upper elevation, so this is why you are not seeing everything yes. uh, yet because portion of it yeah. just disappears from your vision. Uh, uh, okay, uh, twenty-two definitely strikes through its uh, leather mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. Something similar for okay, yeah, and you like strike it through and. There's a splash of blood, and this one just mm -hmm. falls dead where he stands. As he was beginning to stand, uh -huh. there's like... Bleh! Please tell uh -huh. me it's the high-pressure blood spray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cut through the head and it's just blood spray into the air. <laughs> In a single blow, Zillal, do it. <laughs> it's my favorite fucking trope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Bleach especially was fancy of that high octane, high pressure blood sprays. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although I also saw, I don't watch it, but I saw some clips from Jujutsu Kaisen, and there was like definitely one clip. There's there's was like spray of blood. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zix, that was your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, Zillow. All right. Uh. <laughs> Come on, beat his ass. <laughs> Alright, that hits. For a total of nine? Yep. Yep, that's Keep, keep in mind, keep, keep in mind they're flat footed because they haven't gone yet, so sneak attack I think does apply. Uh, that's such a scuff thing, but you're correct. That implies yeah. sneak attack. Uh -huh. I mean, even if not, they have six hit points, so. Uh huh. So you overkill it ever so slightly. <laughs> <laughs> How exactly do you kill it with your fucking bite? Uh, mm -hmm. uh pretty much I bite its head off, more or less. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant, like, boar like creature charges out and bites his head off. <laughs> Oh no, dude. Alright. Nice. Two of them are dead. Uh -huh. Alright, that was your turn. <laughs> what, he, what the goblin sees in his final moment. Yeah, the <laughs> scream is suddenly cut off as the, well, head disappears inside the, inside the mouth of Zillow. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna reveal the left side as uh, there are sounds of, like, intruders, intruders, and from the left, I might as well reveal that. Uh, one of them takes <laughs> place uh, at the behind the uh, kind of trying taking cover at the rock, uh, while the other, you know, approaches like here, and they, okay. and they even though Zero just beat the fucking head off of one of its companions, they look at Zixos like, eh, uh -huh. heretic follower of the false path. You will, f your body will feast the ground. Again and again, as it was promised, <laughs> and they will both fire at you mm. with their uh, longbows. So one makes one attack with that much mm -hmm. to hit. Eighteen to hit. Give me a second. I'm checking to make sure. That's a miss. You're looking for nineteen. All right, mm -hmm. and the other one also makes attack from the, with the longbow. All right, mm -hmm. and then from the right, mm -hmm. there are more footsteps, and uh, and the, and these guys on the right are like, shoot the heretic! No, kill that fucking boar! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those two. Uh, so yeah, this one also takes cover behind, like kind of like a half cover behind a rock. The other one just doesn't fucking care and just like approaches the <laughs> ledge. And mm -hmm. yeah, the one behind cover will fire at uh, Zixos. Mm -hmm. Again with a plus nine. Mm -hmm. 
That's a good hit. Good to hit, and that's a hit. All right. Mm -hmm. so, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so sad I can't actually see them. This is mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. All however, right. Down to 5 HP. However, the mm -hmm. other one attempts to strike at zero. Mm -hmm. Ow. Right. Oh. Well, good, good thing Oof. this only crits on natural 20, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but obviously I rolled max damage. As, as is tradition. Mm -hmm. Right, and there is like... Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming! And then the third one, that was probably having a sentry deeper into that corridor, also approaches the ledge. Mm -hmm. And hmm. and also, uh, this also uh, probably like Colonel also said that there's also like a ledge. It is possible to climb it or like maybe jump if the roll is good enough. But we'll we'll get to that. Mm. Um, okay, and this one, yeah, let's see. Uh, one, he will target zero. Two, he will target Zixos. Sure, sure. Okay, so zero it is. <laughs> With up two. 21. Oh yeah, that's who... Uh, come on, max damage! Do it! Ah, disappointment is immeasurable <laughs> and my day is ruined. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, those two are dead, however I'm gonna keep them for now. Uh, Cheruk. Right. Eric is going to uh, knock his uh, arrow and go into the sense of piercing rays, <coughs> uh, which lights up his arrow, uh, which uh, he shoots at this goblin over here. Uh, so that's a uh, the regular longbow attack. Alright, go for it. With one uh, d8 damage and uh, a plus 1d6 fire damage. Alright, let's see if you will hit. Yeah, just waiting for the. Uh, they actually qu have quite a high AC for a CR2 creature. Mm. Uh, 17. 17 hit. is a miss. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! As I said, according to Pathfinder's side, they, these Goblin Rangers are CR2, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sounds about right. Alright, uh, do you move? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to move behind cover over here. Or here. Alright. Very well. I'm gonna say uh, that these ledges to the left and to the right, uh, they are the difference between ground level and this level is uh, 15 feet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, going to have Corrin uh, move here and then spend some time, I suppose, climbing up here. Uh, okay, as you're beginning to climb, as you were here, uh, make me a perception check. Ooh, you are looking for DC 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a no-go. I got a 10. Uh, okay. Because uh, <laughs> if you move like that, actually... Was there a chance that you would have triggered it? Okay, because I don't want... I'm not exactly sure and I do not want to... F Screw the player over, so I'm gonna reveal it and ask why. Why am I confused? Because um, there are traps in this area. 
Okay. Ooh. And I'm just now wondering, because 